That just came to an abrupt ending. Um, I had the owner come over and he said, Hundred thousand, yes, four hundred thousand, everybody. I want to thank you so, so, so much. I can't believe we got there, guys. Uh, honestly, it is just unbelievable. This has been an amazing ride, so thank you. You rock. Every time you hit that like button, every time you comment on that video, every time you hit subscribe, it helps the channel grow. I bring you more content, the best content, and crazy earth things to come. But everybody, why am I sitting here on a couch giving you this intro? Well, let's just say. We had a bit of a mishap. We may have been cut off and kicked out of an all you can eat yes. So for 400,000, I was going to bring to you an all you can eat fish and chips. We did similar for 300,000 where I quested to eat 300, no I'm just kidding. I quested to eat 30 pieces of fish. I'll put that link down below. Well today I quested to go eat 40 pieces of fish. 40 pieces of fish at an all you can eat fish and chips restaurant in I'm not really gonna share the name. I'm sure you'll be able to figure out if you really want to. I just don't want to give the restaurant bad publicity, so I'm not gonna mention the name. Um, but yeah, so anyway, we went to this restaurant, All You Can Eat Fish and Chips on Friday. It's about 14 bucks for the All You Can Eat Fish and Chips. They advertise it being a cod. They advertise it being the best fish and chips around. So I just wanted to go in, have some fun, eat some fish, give the restaurant some you know positive publicity, share the word. And, well, let's just say we might have had some really interesting mishaps, maybe even some angry owners, and long story short, we'll have to get to the story. Flashback. Alright everyone, so we made it in, so it all looks really, really delicious. So this is cod, as we said. Um, so they actually get started me off with three pieces, which is what they normally do, plus a serving of fries, and a side of coleslaw. And then they actually uh, got me another three pieces in the meantime, which is awesome. Um, so I really appreciate that. You know, upon coming in, I did clarify. I said, hey, I'm doing a video, YouTube video. I'm gonna try to eat as many pieces as I can. If we can keep the service coming quick, that would be optimal. So I appreciate that. I really appreciate their uh, working with me, the hospitality. They've been super friendly so far. So it is very busy in here. So I've mic'd up. Hopefully you can hear me okay. But yeah, that's about it. It is officially, 6.59, 6.59 p.m., basically 7, we'll say 7 p.m. But yeah, so might as well get started. Again, I'm excited. I love fish, I love fried fish, you guys know that. I have, of course, some ketchup. I also have some tartar sauce. Looks like they make the tartar sauce here, um, which is a delicious combination. If you're not familiar with the ketchup and tartar sauce combination, it is by far one of my absolute favorite combos. Got some napkins, and uh, yeah, so, Seven o'clock, let's start eating. They are open and operating until 10 or 11. So, we have lots of time. I will, uh, I'll start with the coleslaw. Just gotta start with the uh, the healthy veggies, you know, so a little, little overexposed there, but. And they taste like coleslaw. A nice tasting creamy coleslaw. All right, now for the cool part. It's having this fish. It looks really nice. I'm gonna try it here just by itself. Nice and flaky. It is very meaty. Which is a characteristic of cod. But I like it. Amazing. Thank you so much. And you can put it in another order or two if you want. And can I also buy for some more water, you know what I'm needy. All right. But yeah, nice flavor on the fish. It, uh... That is a nice crisp to it, to be honest. I also do some vinegar here. For all my people, generally overseas, admittingly, generally they're overseas. So I will mix this on up. 
I'm gonna choose this container as a bag. Thank you. I gotta say though, guys, I'm, I'm really enjoying this. Admittedly, I think I'm more of a white vinegar person than a malt vinegar, but. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today, well, this is just a very interesting story. So as we said, we're gonna get into this. So I arrived at the restaurant on a Friday evening. I was greeted by some very pleasant uh, workers. We, I was seated um, and uh, we just started off with the fish and chip special. Now the french fries are out of the way. I'm back to the exciting part, which for me is the fish. That is my favorite. Tartar sauce, ketchup, vinegar, and I do have the lemon. I will hold on a lemon. I'll try with lemon again for all those people who are lemon on, on fish people. Nice looking piece though. So the all you can eat fish was a $14 special um, and it was offered all Fridays. Like I said, super impressed with the crunch on this. I love all the batter. It's like little crispy pieces on. You generally started off with the first order of fish and fries, and then they just added more fish from there. I'm not sure, I mean, I'm sure they would give you more fries as well. I never asked for more fries. I was not offered more fries. I'm just uh, given more fish and asked if I wanted more fish. So that is, of course, what I was going for in the quest today. Seriously though, I love that batter. It reminds me of something that I almost call like more like a, Fried chicken batter. Very, very good. I'll try the tartar sauce. Okay. That's a very rich tartar sauce. I'd say that's definitely house made. Very good, but that's some like straight real mayo in there. So there's a lot of natural commentary talking about the food, but let's just say it was really good and I was really enjoying it. So these ones are really hot. I'm gonna ask if, um, I mean, I appreciate them giving me three at a time, that's awesome. I'm gonna see if we can get a couple more on this next one. Just because like, I kinda gotta let them cool down a little bit. <sighs> Excuse me. And the quicker we can get through them, Probably the more we'll eat. <clears throat> Excuse me. Comments to the chef, honestly. So of course we were getting through these first orders of fish. They were coming out in a very timely manner, which was absolutely amazing, and I really appreciated that. And by the way, this will be nine pieces when we finish this plate. There you go, guys. Lemon and straight malt vinegar so far. If you like malt vinegar and or lemon, comment down below right now, let me know. If that's how you like to eat your fish. Going in, I did mention if there was any extras, I would pay full price for them. So, you know, not to worry about putting in a larger order. I would not waste any food. All right, nine pieces. Hopefully get some more soon. All right, so we did get two more, which is awesome. I really appreciate that. Um, so we'll have that. This will bring us to 11. And then I asked if we could order a few more. Like, I love that we get three, you know, two at a time, but could we do like 10? And she said, yeah, so hopefully we have like a good, neck, a real big next round. Um, for this one, again, I'm, I'm still gonna just rock the, I'm still gonna rock the vinegar, guys. This is a first for Joel. I have never just rocked vinegar and lemon. So this is a different, this is new, this is all new. Never before seen, guys, never before seen. But again, super hot, super crispy. Still really good though. Oh, amazing. Thank you so much. Perfect. You can put in like another whatever. You just, you just keep coming. Update, we just got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got eight pieces. That's amazing. They must have just like had those, like uh, they must have just like taken them out of the fryer or something. And this had honestly been probably one of my favorite all-you-can-eat fish and chip experiences to date. I was loving this place so much. Let me update the count. Like I said, we had 11 plus eight, we 19. Shout out, the, shout out the service and staff though, this is awesome so far. 
With only positive things to say to this point and great flavors, I was definitely excited. I'm gonna break them open a bit. This will allow me to eat them quicker once they cool off. I was really hoping just to bring them some uh, positive publicity, um, you know, just kind of share my experience at this place as, you know, they claim to be the best fish and chips around. I am burning my mouth, but I do need to be con like conscious to slow down. Now, while we were testing this all you can eat, I do understand that, of course, at $14 in the short term, and maybe they weren't making any money off of my bill. However, that being said, the positive publicity, I think, arguably does stand to value. Um, but let me know what you think down below. I have a feeling we're going to be through a bottle of ketchup, a bottle of vinegar, and a lot of these tartar sauces by the end of this. Let me know if you agree. Now we were in the quest for 40 pieces to celebrate the 400,000. So again, thank you so much for that, everybody. Really appreciate it. However, these things are going to go really interesting real quick. So I'll talk to you in a moment. My tongue is totally burnt, but I love enjoying it. It tastes good. Probably the vinegar doesn't help how acidic it is. That was hot. And like I said, I can tell it's cod because it is like meatier than like a pollock or a haddock. All right. I don't know, it might be sauce time. I'll try some of this tartar on it. That is a good combo. That is a thick tartar, like I said. Super rich. I do appreciate how quick everything's come. I'll try it in the ketchup. I gotta say though guys, ketchup on fried fish is awesome. A lot of people haven't tried it. A lot of people are skeptical. The ketchup on fried fish is amazing. And it's not tomato sauce. It is ketchup. This is Heinz. Heinz is my favorite ketchup brand. Let me know your favorite ketchup brand down below as well. We're down like a half a bottle of vinegar. I gotta say though, everybody, lemon and malt vinegar, or vinegar is not bad though on the fish. It's a great way to cool off as well. Shout out the service here. Everybody's been super friendly, super awesome. Um, very accommodating for a Friday night, though. The fish stretch was on Fridays. Let's see how many pieces we got on this platter. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's like a little one. Kind of eight, we'll call it seven. So, that will bring us to 26. 26 pieces. Oof. All right, these are super hot, of course. I'm gonna break them open. Seriously though, guys, I'm like, I'm blown away. And it's only uh, 726. So we have made Amazing time. The kitchen has been awesome, despite it being busy. The staff have been awesome. I really do think Michigan has its own hospitality. 
and honestly, it's it's really nice so far. Anything I've experienced, Michigan does have a real, real great hospitality. I'm totally burning my mouth by eating these, but I'm just enjoying it so much. Seriously though, I'm so so impressed with this fish. Just it tastes great. Like I said, it's like a like a fried chicken batter. That's what I'd call it. Or instead of it literally just being like you know flour, or whatever mix, very little seasoning. There's a lot of seasoning. There's a lot of flavor. I'd say they like probably double do it somehow because that's you get those like nice crispy bits. All right guys, the time is 7.33. So about 33 minutes of eating. We are 26 in. Oh, perfect. Thank you so much. You can do another one if you want to. Amazing. Perfect timing. I like, I, I literally, I literally could not have asked for uh, better timing than this, but again, these will probably be super duper hot. But here I got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six more. Which brings us to 32. Woo! That's a lot of pieces. I almost one a minute actually to be out. Well, if I finish, if I was done these, one a minute. I'll say we've been served one like you know per minute. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Oh. Real hot. Still though, delicious. <laughs> Excuse me. Comments to the chef. At this point, the ketchup and tartar sauce, like I said, will probably start coming out a bit more. Because they haven't been out basically at all. Let's roll up those sleeves. Let's get into some action. Yeah, I'm gonna break these open. Oh man, my mouth is to my my tongue is totally burnt to be honest with you guys. It's good, but it is just totally scorched. Yeah, when I stop to take a breather, I really feel I'm not focused on how good the food is, I really feel my tongue. Ketchup. These ones I legit have to pull off. And now I just burn the roof of my mouth and you know on top of my tongue. So let this cool off for a few minutes and then we'll resume eating. And this is where things went interesting. So what actually happened? I was delivered that last batch of fish and it was so 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 hot. I had to let it cool down for a while and my mouth was burning, so I figured okay, I'll just turn my camera off in the meantime, check my phone, etc. So as soon as I turn the camera off, a gentleman walks over to me and says, I am the owner, I appreciate what you're doing, but these are the last ones, and immediately walks away. Let me demonstrate on a visual, just to kind of show you what I mean, and then I will explain further. So, here's my little diagram. As you can tell, this is some quality stuff. 
I'm not an architect. Okay, so I am sitting right here at this X. Oh, well, let's there. There we go. Focus. So this is my table. Of course, you have all these other tables around, etc. This is the bar. This is the doorway to the kitchen. Bathrooms over here, etc. So I'm sitting right over here. So it didn't really mean anything to me prior because again, there's the bar, there's the door to the kitchen, etc. But there was a gentleman kind of standing right here for quite a while that, again, he was an older gentleman. He was just kind of like watching the room slash watching me. Anyway, like I said, as soon as I flick that camera off, like literally I press it, the gentleman walks right over, just straight over to me. And again, I quote, he said, I appreciate what you're doing here, or I'm the owner, I appreciate what you're doing here, but we're gonna stop and immediately walks away. Literally so quickly that he walks over here and I start to say, uh, you know, something along the line, and this, that's when I like flick the camera back on and I start to literally just say, I'm talking like this is all split second. The gentleman walks over, I'm the owner, I appreciate what you're doing here, but we're gonna stop doing this, immediately turns away and I'm like, oh, excuse me, like, sorry, like what? just to even try to have any sort of a word or conversation. Um, and so it was kind of odd to me that, you know, again, there it was not like, hey, I'm the owner here, like, what are you doing? Or, hey, I know, I appreciate what you're doing, but the, there's no more. And I could have said, oh, well, hey, like, I'd pay more, or thank you, I understand. It was just like, walk in, walk out. And to me, that was kind of a, mm, I don't know, I'll leave that to your perspective, but it left kind of a, odd taste in my mouth, I guess you could say, that I never even had the opportunity to talk or etc. And I legit was like, uh, you know, going from on my phone to kind of drop it real quick and be like, oh, like, hey, sorry, excuse me, what? So anyway, um, yeah, we actually officially got cut off, kicked off, you know, cut off here at this point um, by the owner himself. The rest of the staff were awesome. My waitress was awesome. The front door people were awesome. The general manager guy was awesome, but, um, yeah, that's kind of what happened. And then from there, I mean, things were just kind of ruined. You know what I'm saying? But I'll, let's, we'll get back to the video and you can kind of figure out the rest from there. So let's get back to it. What, what, what were you saying? Okay. That just came to an abrupt ending. Um, I had the owner come over and he said, I appreciate what you're doing, but we're not gonna do any more. These are the last ones. And they gave me one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more. Um, disappointed I didn't have my camera on for that. And he walked away very quickly. Oh boy. All right, well, so we just got cut off. I don't really know what to say. Uh, Well, we got the seven more here. So, that would bring us to 39. But ultimately, I guess that will be the end of it. Like I said, and, uh, they just kind of walked over and told me this and, and walked away. There was no discussion so I'm curious to see what I guess maybe my server says or anybody else says that is very unfortunate I was really really enjoying myself I mean I'll eat the last ones I said if I didn't eat them I would uh, I'd pay full price so at this point to be honest generally like if I didn't say that I'd uh, I would have just told him not to give me any more, but 
I don't know, I guess leave these ones and that's that. I don't mean to be punny when I say it puts a bad taste in your mouth, you know what I'm saying? I know these are the ones they brought me. I'll break them open to pull off, but that's disappointing. And my server was so nice. Everybody was so nice. Like, I didn't even have the opportunity to offer to pay more. I guess that's the way she goes. I at least wanted the opportunity to talk to the gentleman. Food tastes so different when you're in a... Uh, like a... How do you put it? Like when you're in a good mood, it tastes so much different. I hadn't even touched my Diet Coke. That's just sad. I can tell like with my server, she's like, you know, like she feels awkward now. I can tell, like, just the way she looked. It wasn't her. But compared to her, like, normal smile when she came over, that was like a pretty, like, forced smile. Not gonna treat her any different. She's been awesome. What I am gonna do, I'm gonna ask her if she's ever seen anybody else get cut off. I didn't even use the ketchup. I'll save my words. You can let me know what you think of everything down below.
everybody. I don't really know what else to say. Um, this was an awesome experience. I mean, it's not like we would have kept going eternally or infinitely. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm uh, you know, don't get me wrong. It's not like I don't think I got my money's worth. I definitely got my money's worth. And it was all really, really good. And I, and I was ranting and raving about it because it was absolutely delicious. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, ultimately, I don't really know what to say in the end. I mean, we got cut off and I would have offered to pay more. I would have paid double or whatever. Um, this was awesome. I was really enjoying this. Um, I guess the total is, you know, uh, 39. We did not hit 40. Um, I wasn't offered more fries or anything in substitute. You guys saw pretty much everything. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of it. So, like I said, I'll ask the Oscar server here. Like I said, I can tell she's trying to, like, kind of, like, avoid me a little bit. I don't really blame her. Like I said, I think it's a pretty awkward situation for her, which is unfortunate. So I can empathize to that. I'll talk to her here momentarily, I'm sure. And we'll get our bill. And, uh, that's it. I don't really know what else to say. Just, it's unfortunate. Of course, I never recommend you trying to eat this much. Um, but yeah, of course, everybody, till next time, stay happy, really hungry, happy eating. Like I said, I'll, when I talk to her, I'll get some more, I don't know. I don't know what else we'll get, but unfortunate way to end such a pleasant experience. Like, arguably, I probably would have said this is my best fish and chip all you can eat experience. Arguably, it's probably what it would have been. Yeah, cut off fish and chips again. So, yeah. Yeah. I'll talk to you guys shortly. I'll record our conversations. That's about that. So, we'll be back in just a moment. I'll just take my, I'll just take my bill or whatever. Has anybody ever been cut off before? I don't know. Yeah. It was kind of sad. I tell you, it was. I was. I was thoroughly enjoying it. To be honest with you, this was awesome. Like, yeah, like whatever you guys do to the the batter, um, it's like it almost reminded me like more like a fried chicken batter or something. Like, you know, it's like the extra like crispy bits on it. And it's nice how it sticks to the fish real good. Yeah. No, it was really good. It was really good. I'm like. Yeah, I'll have to ask him later if he's ever cut anybody off. Uh, well, either way, I guess we'll find out, but thank you. It's like I said, my waitress was awesome. The front door people and the manager I spoke to earlier were all awesome. We'll get our bill and go from there, I guess, but it is not all you can eat, apparently. So, um, total is 18 bucks, $3 for the Coke, uh, $14 for the fish and chips. It does say on there, 39 reorders. And she actually brought me out a cookie. She said, this is our infamous cookie. So again, I appreciate that. Again, my server is awesome. My waitress is awesome. Um, fun thing, she said like, so, she, she did like, uh, the whole conversation was, she dropped the bell, she all said like, so what are you doing? So I make YouTube videos. So I guess all, eat, all you can eat fish and chips on try it out. And she said, oh, you have to leave your, uh, like, my info, because her manager wants to watch this. Which I was like... Okay. I mean, I'll do that. And again, it just I'm absolutely unfortunately got cut off, because even the server said, like, she kind of was disappointed I got cut off, too. Because, like I said, guys, this would have been just a stellar video. I was thoroughly enjoying this. Uh, because they gave me the cookie, I will try it. Not like I said, um, it is it is a, a warm, it is still warm. It's a cookie, I appreciate it. Really nice gesture. Still got cut off, nonetheless. Again, not anybody on the floor is doing. So, yeah. We'll pay our bill, we'll get out of here, and we'll leave it at that. But yeah, so everybody, until next time, and if there's any more conversation, I'll actually 
catch it and uh, Oh, it's not bad. Something like something's happy, the hungry, happy eating. Don't do what I do. Never try this. Never even blah, 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 blah. You got the gist. I'm done. I'm out. Goodbye. Do they have like a disclaimer that they can do that or what? I don't think so. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna make a scene. I mean, right. like, it's, it's, a little, so, it's a little ridiculous. I mean, how, how, many, how much did you eat? Well, I, I ate a ridiculous amount, to be honest. With you. So, <laughs> All right. Like I'm not disappointed, but I'm a little disappointed. You know what I'm saying? Principle. So, principle. That's how right. many plates did you have? Uh, I ate 39 pieces. Oh my gosh! We thought you were doing chicken fingers. So at like first. I said, I ate a lot. So were they were they good fish and chips? It was good. It was really good. It's actually it's actually to be honest them it's, it's it's sad because that would have been like a, i was speaking very highly very stellar of it and i was almost done it's not like i'm gonna eat forever the good price i'd be like hey this dude ate my sure. fish and chips are so good he ate 50 on them yeah wow. exactly yeah, yeah it was uh it was it well just the way he definitely he, is not a marketing the way he did it too is a little uh, sad a little weird but anyway nonetheless so 